As we now all know, a cloud is basically a collection of water droplets that have condensed out of the invisible water vapor in the air. When we look at a cloud, we look at when we see the elevation base, which looks like that flat base, what we're seeing is the elevation at which, as the air rose, it cooled to its dew point, forcing the water vapor to condense into water droplets. Eventually, some of those water droplets might fall to the earth, but it depends on the size of those droplets. So the question that we're tackling here today is, if a droplet gets large enough to fall, how long will it take to reach the earth? Well, of course, it depends on the size of the water droplet. And we typically measure water droplets in, in terms of their diameter, which is to say the distance from one side of the droplet to the other. Fortunately, we have a table giving us the velocities, the speed essentially, that, it, that a droplet falls depending upon its diameter. So let's take an example. Assuming that the air is still, that there's no wind blowing around which could affect the speed or the velocity of the water droplet, how long would it take a large raindrop, about five millimeters in diameter, to reach the ground if it fell from a cloud base, that lifting condensation level, at 2,000 meters above the Earth. Well, again, we're going to turn to the table that contains the velocities for different diameters of cloud droplets. So a 5 millimeter drop falls at 33 kilometers per hour, which can also be expressed as 33,000 meters per hour, because 1 kilometer is the same as 1,000 meters, therefore 33 kilometers is 33,000 meters. And we can further express this as 33,000 meters for in 60 minutes, since one hour is 60 minutes. And the reason we're reducing the fraction to this form with minutes is because we're anticipating that the answer, how long it would take that raindrop to fall, is probably going to be in minutes. So we further reduce this fraction from 33,000 meters per 60 minutes to 550 minutes meters per minute, excuse me. And essentially all we're doing here is we're dividing 33,000 by 60, and then again 60 is 1. Then lastly, we're going to divide the distance that the raindrop falls, 2,000 meters from the cloud base, by the velocity, 550 minutes, meters per minute. Essentially that means just dividing 2,000 by 550, and we get 3.6 minutes that it would take for a 5 millimeter raindrop to fall to the earth. What about a typical raindrop? say one that was 2 millimeters in diameter, how long would it take to fall from the same cloud at 2,000 meters cloud base? Well, same process. A 2 millimeter drop falls at 23 kilometers per hour, or 23,000 meters per hour, or 23,000 meters for 60 minutes. So again, we reduce the fraction. 23,000 meters in 60 minutes can be expressed as 383.3 meters per minute, again simply dividing 23,000 by 60. Then we divide the distance the droplets falling, 2,000 meters divided by 383.3 meters per minute, essentially dividing 2,000 by 383.3, and we get 5.2 minutes. Therefore, it would take 5.2 minutes for a 2 millimeter droplet to fall from the cloud to the earth.